Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic String Builder class with append insert delete methods in Java programming. So first of all, we'll understand what are strings in Java. So string means collection of characters which are represented in double quotes. For example, hello in double quotes. Welcome to core Java in double quotes. So here space is also one character in a string. And to work with strings in Java, we have four basic classes. First one string class. Second one string buffer class. Third one string builder class. Fourth one string tokenizer class. So now coming to string builder class with append insert delete methods. So first of all this class is available in java.lang package and this class creates a string object which is mutable. Mutable means original data can be modified. And to modify the original data, we have insert methods, append methods, delete methods. And using new operator will create a string builder. Example string builder sb1 is equals to new operator constructor string builder for which we are passing another string as a parameter. So it will create a string builder object sb1. So string builder methods are not synchronized. Hence it is suitable for single threaded applications. And coming to string one technical point. So every string in Java provides indexes to the collection of characters. And these indexes will range from 0 to length minus 1. For example, H E L L O. Hello. For this, the indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now coming to constructors and methods to work with append, delete, insert methods. So if we see the description of the string buffer class, Java P hyphen P Java dot lang dot string builder. Open the command prompt. Go to your working directory and issue the command. So string builder class, it is a final class. And this is a constructor with string input as parameter using which we are going to construct a string builder class object. And these are some append methods. Append means adding data from end of the string builder. And next, these are delete methods which will be deleting specified character or multiple characters. And these are insert methods which will be inserting any type of data at a particular index position in a string builder object. Right. So using this constructor and methods appending, deleting, inserting will demonstrate a small program string builder class example three dot Java. Right. Take a new page. So first write the comments program to demo string builder class with append insert delete methods. So import string builder class from java.lang package take the main class with main method. So first we are creating an object of string builder sb1 is equals to new string builder. So initial string we are passing as a parameter to the constructor core java and then print sb1 string builder one object. So we'll execute this one initially. Right. So save this come to the command prompt. 
and then compile the program string builder class example 3 dot java right no error and then run it so initial string is core java next we will append another string so it goes like this here sb1 dot append of session so it will be appending session string to the sb1 print sb1 save recompile and run so core java session so session appending means adding data from the end so next we will append another string builder or string buffer you can also take string buffer object also sb2 is equals to new string builder online so this data we are going to append to sb1 dot append of sb2 print sb1 so save this recompile and run so core java session followed by online so here we can use string string buffer string builder also to append from the end similarly i'm going to append a character array so character array ch is equals to h e l l o so sb1 dot append of ch print sb1 save recompile and run so hello appended at the last next we will append only specified characters from the character array so sb1 dot append character array first index to fourth index which means e l l o and then print sb1 save recompile and run so only e l l o next we will append primitive data type values for example append true print sb1 append character a print sb1 save it recompile and run so true appended at the end a appended in the next statement next we will append integer values and float values right so i'm taking integer i i is equals to 10 append to sb1 print next long ll is equals to 100 l append to sb1 print sb1 float ff is equals to 5.6 f append to sb1 and print sb1 double bd is equals to 10.5 d append sb1 and then print sb1 so integer long float double four cases save it recompile and run so first 10 next 100 next 5.6 next 10.5 right so next we will perform delete operation so string buffer 1 delete from first index fifth index fifth index till length of the string buff string builder 1 not string buffer string builder print sb1 so save this and then recompile and run so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so from fifth index till the length everything is deleted so we just have core j we will also delete the j character which is at index 4 so delete care at so sb1 
dot delete char at of four print sb1 so recompile and run so j is also deleted right next we will perform insert so let us perform insert operation at zero index we can also perform at any index so i'm taking another character array ch a r r hello h e l l o so i want to insert this at zero index to sb1 print sb1 save <coughs> recompile and run so zero index means at the first index h e l l o remaining characters will move towards the right so next we will perform insert at zero index character array first index to fourth index so first index is e till the fourth index which is o print sb1 so save recompile and run so e l l o next we will perform string next boolean value and character value so insert zero index hi h print sb1 insert zero index true print sb1 insert zero index z print sb1 save recompile and run so insert zero index hi h zero index true zero index z character z next we will insert integer value long value float value double value at zero index so i i 10 at zero index print sb1 l l long at zero index print sb1 ff at zero index print sb1 and dd at zero index print sb1 so these values we have already defined here while appending i i 10 l l 100 l ff 5.6 f double 10.5 d right so save this recompile and run right so at zero index 10 okay 100 next 5.6 float value and double value 10.5 right so this is how we are supposed to work with string builder class in java programming with append method insert method delete methods thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day